Hi there, it is 86 degrees and I am almost in Nitro, West Virginia. I started with the temperature because I could not believe it is 86 degrees. Uh, I started my day in Lancaster County and I'm ending it in Nitro, West Virginia and I am meeting my friend Kate, follow that bug vintage at a really great antique mall that she highly recommends. And I've learned if Kate says it's good, you know it's good. We're just a few minutes out from meeting her and uh, hopefully I can film inside and show you how great this is gonna be. This is the start to the meet and greet weekend. I am hoping to film a lot and get a lot of different experiences for you to share with me. Uh, let's go. The very, very, very first case that Kate and I looked at was filled with glass figurines and I decided to pick up these two figurines and then over in another booth was this vintage painted cat, super funny face to it. And then I really liked the looks of these, like a mama dog and two baby puppies. They were made in Japan, only $10. I thought about it for a little bit, but then I just wasn't really feeling it. I was more admiring the style of them and the paint job on them. I would, if I had gotten them, I definitely would have sold them as a set of three because you can't break up a little family. I was uh, really enjoying this antique mall. Kate had been here before and she said it was really, really great and she was right. I don't film a ton here because we were, look how cute they displayed the earrings on that. Uh, I didn't film a lot because we were talking. We had, this was, we were meeting each other here at this mall, uh, traveling separately from Pennsylvania. So I was really excited catching up with her and talking about the weekend ahead. And so I didn't do too much filming, but I did do, uh, I think enough. Uh, this was a really pretty, look at that slag glass, the green and the white with the jade, really, really nice. And then look how clever that they displayed the salt and pepper shakers. I thought that was super cute, keeping them together, but then you can still easily spy which ones you want and uh, pick and choose. Those deer were very cute. I think some of them were more contemporary, but there were some older ones as you see here. And uh, who doesn't like a good salt and pepper shaker? The little bunnies, Japan, I think it said $8 on those. Little shark, frogs, it was very, very cute. I didn't get any salt and pepper shakers, but it was a lot of fun looking through them. Over here we have a set of Inesco cats, and their tails were stuffed. There's an M.A. Hadley, 25. Ashtray is 20. It's Christmas over there. Blanco blades. Or feathers, I'm not really sure. That's weird. They're very weird. So it's just like the extras that they cut off. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I thought it was cool. I'm scared to handle them though, because you know me. They look like uh, pea pods off of a tree. I feel like you could make Or it's a mustache. Really cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. It could be a mustache. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. I'm elevating the value of that tenfold. Like it is. No, that is. I can feel the base. Is it glass? No, it is. Yeah, that's Because it even has Blanco the uh, stopper on the top. Yeah, that's a Blanco lamp. That's neato. I'm too short, though. Um, I don't see a price either. That's cool. I I didn't show that on camera, but um, it's three seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Dude. Cone-shaped art glass pendant light. That is is really cool oh oh look at that that's 75 what's that it's rainbow <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty wow look at all the stuff no i have to say this is one of the best ones i've ever been to oh I'm totally look at this ashtray that's pretty Oh, cool. oh, I love this sticker. The old sticker yeah, is so good. Yeah, that's so cool. This is my booth. <laughs> Do you have a sale I'll running? Time for time. Okay, thanks. <laughs> beautiful Chrissy. Is that a beautiful Chrissy doll? $20. This is pretty too. Looks like it has blisters. The world's turning on. 
<laughs> this is adorable. This is, what do you say, Boyd's glass? Boyd's glass. And it has toes coming out of the boot. <laughs> That's adorable. Feet and boots. And boots. And salt and pepper shakers. This one, baby animals on the farm. Aww. Six hours later. I usually go to Valley Thrift when I come to Ohio, but I decided to try St. Vincent de Paul, which is located right next door to Valley Thrift. And I wasn't finding too much at first. There was a nice little creamer and sugar with a silver uh, band on it. And they had a nice selection of uh, these kind of things, measuring cups and plates, hard goods, I guess you would call them. This was funny, this cat. <laughs> C is for cat dish, it was only $2. More of a contemporary piece. And then they had uh, some vintage saucers there. And I was looking to see what the pattern was underneath it. There was something that caught my eye and then I realized it was more contemporary. And then here I'm gonna give you a look at the aisles. Nicely organized, big clear glass section. And then over here, they had a little chip and dip set. It reminded me of Quimper, but I knew before I picked it up, it was not because there was some wear to the paint on that. And then this piece down here was a flash. Oh no, it had a little chip on it. I did like the little twisted stem, probably a more contemporary piece again. Now I am looking in the vase section, hoping that there is some hidden gem. I've actually sold this before. It's very unusual. It's a kind of a wall pocket without being on your wall and it looks like an envelope that was signed by a hobbyist so I think it might be a hobbyist piece that you can make I definitely have sold that when I first started reselling uh, then I found this glass vase and I thought oh look here's my hidden gem very nice vase some art glass here with a blue swirl remind me of the check glass but it had a pure one sticker on it now that doesn't mean that this I you know, I don't know everything about glass. I could have made a mistake. Pier 1 did have some nice glass, but I I didn't feel like taking the time to Google Lens and doing some research. I just put it back for somebody else. That little train planter was cute. And just giving you a look at the shelves. And, oh, this big piece here. That was very impressive. And it was telling you, this will poison your food. <laughs> it was $9 if I read that tag correctly. And I didn't really see anything else. Giving you a look at what the layout of the store is. There you had a candle section. Organized like Goodwill does. I have gone to St. Vincent's before in on the, on the West Coast when I go visit my mom. I found these little teddy bears. I thought they would be perfect for resin. Be cute to make little different colored resin bears. Up here on this top shelf, this felt really heavy. It didn't have a mark on it. Um, I'm commenting to you that it feels heavy, but she did have a, a really bad accident to her, her arm and her hand there. So I left that on the shelf. And this is a buyer's choice dog. You can always tell they're always howling and they're usually in wicker baskets. And I have sold those before. This caught my eyes, took me away from the dog. This is a Korea, very... <laughs> <laughs> these little some pupils in those black eyes I thought this little Buddha was cute getting back to the buyer's choice they tend to usually have wear and I've had a Dalmatian dog I had a Dalmatian dog for sale for a long 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 time some of those can bring good money but I just didn't feel like bothering with it and there's a cute little raccoon back there hiding behind a sports figurine and then after checking out the top shelf we're looking at the second and third shelves packed with all kinds of things Lots of more contemporary things at this. I did find this little trio of turtles. I've sold this before, and I've seen it twice at antique malls while I was in Ohio. This one was missing some things on the side there, and the bottom head was bent, and I think missing. So I did not get that, but I have sold that in the past. It's very funny because the little shell heads bobble around. This is a toothbrush holder. I did touch it. I normally don't touch toothbrush holders because I think it's gross that toothbrushes were in there. But it was super cute and I almost got it because people like Snoopy things. But then I saw that Snoopy had been beheaded and repaired. And then, plus it's a toothbrush holder. <laughs> I washed my hands later. Uh, and then on the bottom were some boxes of things, some more contemporary things. I was looking to see who was the maker on that box. And didn't really see anything that really piqued my interest. 
Here, I thought this was cute little Lucy and me gardening carrot figurine only for a dollar. The prices were really good here. It just was, there was a lot of contemporary things. Here is also a look at the sports area. And then around here, they had toys. And then I decided to check out the toys and I found this squeaky dog. And I'm gonna show you that it really works. I was channeling Kate. I felt that she would want me to pick this up. So I picked up the puppy dog. That was the one thing that I um, put in while well, I was holding it. I didn't have a card anymore. That was pretty. I like the purple, but it was telling me over and over that I was going to poison my food. It was for decorative use only. I was looking for some uh, dishes over in the dishware area. I said, is this Portugal or Italy? And it was made in Italy. Definitely had that Italian or Portugal look to it, but uh, nothing super special. They have everything organized by what it is. Here's the mug section. Whoa, hey. We're done looking at the mugs already. And then now I'm looking, um, showing you the Christmas section. They have a, a small Christmas section, so I'm assuming they have that year, out year-round. And didn't see any old Christmas, so then I moved on again to... There were people in the aisles, so I went back to areas that we kind of visited before. So I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. They had these nice china sets. Look, that's only $9. That's a good deal because it was in very good shape. And then I decided to go look at the jewelry. I noticed the green brooch and then the employee said, well, we have more brooches. And so she pulled out the rest of the tray. Okay, we'll get those and the dog. All righty. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see ya.